Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Structure Free Learning. And in this video, we are going to continue our structural analysis sequence and analyze a statically determinate frame. And when I say frame, I mean a structural system that has two or more members. And for the geometry and loading that we're given in this problem, I've got a roller supported A. Member AB is at, is at an angle of 30 degrees. This connection at B is a moment connection, which means I can transfer axial shear and moment from one side to the other, as opposed to something like a hinge, which can only transfer axial and shear from one side to the other. And you know we associate a hinge with a moment of zero at that location. Member BC is horizontal with a uniformly distributed load of 3 kilonewtons per meter, and point C has a pin support. And what we want to do is do the analysis so that we can draw the internal axial shear and moment diagrams for each of the members of this structural system. So the approach that we are going to take for this is first draw that FBD, then check on the determinacy. Normally, I would check determinacy, but in this case, because we're told we're going to do a statically determinate frame in the title, hey, 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 what do you know? It's going to be determinate. And then three, we want to determine the reaction. Normally, if it's determinate, then you know the equilibrium equations are enough. If it's statically indeterminate, then you're going to have to use a more advanced technique, like the force method or a displacement method of analysis, to determine those reactions. Once we have the reactions, we are going to draw the shear and moment diagrams and axial so the NVM diagrams so let's get started the key in the free body diagram is to draw magnitudes and directions of the force reactions so here at A I have a roller a force A that's perpendicular to the surface and then at C I have a vertical and a horizontal and I will call these CX and CY now just the side note about A, this force at A is really in, in the XY is like AX and AY. It's the same as a magnitude A with an angle, right? And in this case, we know this angle already, that this angle right here is 60 degrees. And so we have a magnitude and an, a direction. And the only thing that's unknown is this magnitude, which makes it one unknown. And the next thing I want to do is determine or check on the static determinacy. I have told you already it's statically determinate, but you know we're going to verify that. Because I have no closed loop, what I have in terms of number of unknowns are three reactions. So that's three unknowns. And the number of equilibrium equations I have for this entire frame is three, therefore statically determinate. And now I can go ahead and calculate these reactions. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply some of the forces in the horizontal. From some of the forces in the horizontal, I would get that CX plus A cosine of 60 degrees is equal to zero. Then I can do some of the forces in the vertical, positive upwards. And here I would have CY plus A sine of 60 degrees minus the result of this uniformly distributed load, which is 3 kilonewtons per meter times 8 meters equal to zero. So you can see I still have two equations and three unknowns in here. So now I need a moment equation. So I'm going to let's use that. Sum of the moments about point C. And the reason I choose moments about point C is because it's going to give me the magnitude of A directly. I would get the resultant of this distributed load, which is 24 kilonewtons. And the distance here is just halfway. So this is 4 meters. And so I would have plus 24 kilonewtons times the arm, which is 4 meters, negative or minus a cosine of 60 degrees times the distance, the perpendicular distance to this force here at point A, which is 2 meters, minus the vertical component, which is a sine of 60 degrees times the total distance from point A. That horizontal distance, if you just use some basic trig, this is 3.464 meters, or 4 cosine of 30 degrees and so the total arm 11.464 meters 
equal to zero. And I work some math out. Let's see here. I'm going to get, and from all that, I will get that A is equal to 8.785 kilonewtons. All right. So now that we have the reactions, we're ready to draw the, the axial shear and moment diagram. This is like a whole nother problem in itself, right? This is, this is a lot of work that is going to take place here. And the process I like to take within this step or this process is it's going to seem kind of like overdoing it, but it, it, it's going to help minimize confusion later on. And so what, one thing I definitely like to do is establish the beginning and end of each member. And you can do that by drawing an arrow pointing whichever way is, you know, the left and the right or up and down. It's also the same as kind of establishing a local coordinate system for each member. And what it does, it, it tells the person who sees your results which side is what is positive moments, what are negative moments. The other thing I like to do is I like to make sure that I know the reactions or on the reactions or the loading on the left side or beginning of each member. Now I'm going to draw by cutting all the members from their joints. And this is what I might call like a blown up drawing. Then I go ahead and I draw my shear and moment diagrams and axial diagrams going left to right, which really means that I am saying the following rules are good. This dvdx is equal to the negative of the distributed loading and dm dx is equal to the shear value. All this stuff says is that the slope of the shear diagram is equal to the value of the distributed loading and the slope of the moment diagram is equal to the value of the shear and then if you do if you take the x on both sides it just means the change in shear is the area under the distributed load and the change in moment is the area under the shear diagram. That's something you learn way back in statics and mechanics and materials and and hopefully you know it's just a refresher that you need right 